RS3, the one with the fuel system upgrade. I haven't finished, it's working the fuel system, just I haven't finished with the cover back and all the rest of the things. But today's video it's different. It's not, did I finish the video for the fuel system? No, because I didn't finish the fuel system, yeah. It's working, but it's not for final. It's been secured back, but I haven't made the cover, I haven't fixed all the rest around. Um, today, different thing. The intake manifold. All right, the owner, he brought the intake manifold. Uh, some parts been removed by the guys yesterday. They removed the half intake, the front one, with the charge pipe. All right, let's go inside the engine room to see the parts before I continue. Back inside the engine room. Now, this is the aftermarket intake manifold. All right. This is the half of this, the stock one. All right. Uh, nothing to say. Looks beautiful. I know the guy who's making these manifolds, he has spent a lot of time. He make a research and developing for the intake manifold and not only for the intake manifold, for the turbocharger kit, for the tuning, for everything. I'm, I don't worry about that. Okay, I know that it's gonna work. That's a good one. That's the name. All right. I'm not advertising anything. This is mostly for the owner. Then it's for me, and then to whoever guy he can find useful. All right. Two things I want to mention. Two things. One thing. There are some moorings that comes here. All right, and there is also orange that comes here. Most probably they did that. Why they did that? Probably because you can keep the flaps that has inside. That you can keep the stock piece of this, and you can use only that. Or you can change only this to cancel the flaps and keep this stock. Probably because here does have a groove, and from the other side does have a groove. So to be exchangeable. Now. What I don't like, but that, that's me, okay? Please don't misunderstand. I don't like to be oaring on an oaring. That's it only. Nothing more, nothing less. I would like to be oaring on a flat surface or oaring on a flat surface. That's the only thing, all right? Nothing more, nothing less. Here you see uh, some plugs that this is for the nitrous, probably, and from down here for a methanol, probably, if you want to make it per cylinder. Nothing wrong with that, beautiful, it's always welcome. It's up to the customer, up to the owner, what you can decide. Excellent. Uh, another one thing that I want to mention, especially for the owner, all right, for the customer. This, I doubt that I'm gonna be able to mount the stock throttle on that. Why I'm saying that? Very simply. Here, this adapter, is 76 millimeters all right fine this here it's 82 so i have no clue what i'm gonna put there for a throttle okay you know so i arranged to bring a throttle <laughs> it won't gonna fit i guess or if you're gonna fit you're gonna have a restriction I'm gonna say I'm gonna remove also the adapter. I'm gonna try that later on, but uh, I don't think so. To have, I mean, from 76 to 82, it's a little bit big difference. That's that's what I'm saying. All right, don't misunderstand. Then I said before to the owner, I explained to the owner that the original, the OEM intake manifold, it's been designed with this way. You see this lip that has here. It's not wide open, there is this lip. Okay? This one, why they're doing this? This is to distribute, to have an airflow equal in all of the cylinders. That means to don't be concentrated, let us say, to don't come more airflow on these cylinders and less on this one, because here it's sharp, 90 degrees. So they're doing that to flow better and to have equal distribution of flow. The pressure can be the same in all of them, but the flow will get changed. It's different to have a sharp 90 degrees and different to have to run around and push inside the flow. That's why you, you have this piece here. Now, this 
when, when they build that one, probably, they make it on the stock boost levels. They make it at one bar, at 1.5 bar. That means if you flow it with a three bar, it might change all the picture, all the story here. A different flow, let us say, in different turbulence you're gonna have at one or one and a half bar. I'm talking about 15 to 25 PSI, okay? And different when you're reaching, let us say, 45 PSI, three bar, okay, approximately. So this one is working on the stock application, it's fine. There is no problem at all, you have plenty of room for ignition timing, for all these things, it's fine. They want the thing that's exploding from what they told me that start leaking, that's a different story. Also, mostly from the runners, because there is a rate of leak, and if you increase the boost, yeah, obviously, you can start leaking from everywhere. This is much better. Now, I don't have a reason to don't trust this company here. Okay. Why I'm saying that? Because it's been already tested. They already make power. Okay. And I guess that if they see that there is more flow, let us say, on the last cylinders here, less cylinders from the throttle I'm talking about, all right, they will gonna take an action. As soon as it's working fine and they don't have any problem, it's good to go. Just explain why there is this piece here inside. And if you modify this piece, you need to flow it before and after to see what happened. It's gonna be a good thing to, with this intake manifold, to come one chart to show you how much better it's flowing this intake manifold. Again, it's a one product that somebody tested before and he has the results and he posts also the results. So I don't have, I'm not questioning the product. I'm just saying in general, to have, let us say one paper, that this is how much flowing the original one, the OEM, and this is how much flowing, let us say this piece, this piece separate and both of them together. You're gonna have some good results, uh, not good results, sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have something on your hand to say that, you know what, yes, it makes sense. It will gonna make sense. Again, it's been tested. It's not it's not somebody that he get one chunk of uh, seven series or six series aluminum and he must in it and then he's selling it. The, this guy who's doing that, it's well known that he's doing a miracles on the Daza engine and not only, but at least that's what I know. Couple of fittings, couple of bolts, Okay, this most probably is for the throttle. Uh, this is a fitting that comes here at this point. All right, there is the bolt, the washer, and the fitting. This pipe, I'm not gonna use it. This fitting, I don't think so, I'm gonna use it. The O-rings, like I said, for here, I have to use double O-ring. That means one O-ring here, one O-ring here. And like I said yesterday to the owner, I'm applying a little bit Vaseline here, Vaseline here, so when you slide it inside, so don't bite the o-ring and it might come out you never know you know just safety third like we said there is still problem like i said with the throttle i'm gonna open the adapter i'm gonna double check it but i doubt even if i if we put this what's my point even if it matches the adapter here okay you are upgrading the intake manifold and it's much bigger why don't put the correct throttle there to get the 100% of the performance of the intake. That's my point. And that's the reason why I'm making this video now. Uh, it's not about the installation or something. It's about that the throttle it's significant bigger on this one and smaller on this one. So when you watch the video, act accordingly. Find the correct throttle and bring it to me. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's what I have to say. I have to stop here. I have to continue outside with the job. The product, like I said, it's been tested. I'm not complaining about anything. All right. Don't misunderstand. Don't start uh, commenting down uh, what you're saying, all these things. I agree 100%. It's been tested. It's working fine. There's no problem whatsoever. All right. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Moving on. Another one thing that I forget to mention, I'm going to put the title of this video going to be for the fuel system upgrade or a RS3 engine rebuild or something like that. This is to track all the clips, all the videos that I have uploaded up to now. And later on, when I'm gonna finish with that, and when the customer will gonna be ready to bring me back the car to fix the cover for the suit tank, I'll, it'll gonna be continued. So it'll gonna be, it'll gonna be how it's gonna be. All right, it's not gonna correspond the title of the video to the job that I'm doing. It's not gonna show intake manifold installation. This is, like I said before, it's for the customer, especially to see 
the the throttle thing okay that's it thank you now that's the end